Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the factorial notation. So this is our symbol for factorial and this is read as n factorial. So n factorial. Factorial is a shorthand for multiplication of a list of consecutive descending whole numbers. So if we have n factorial that is equal to n times n minus 1 so n here is our first factor n minus 1 is the second factor n minus 2 is the second a third factor and so on until we reach 3 2 to reach 1 take note that 0 factorial that is equal to 1 and 1 factorial is equal to 1 so how to use this factorial so let's say The question asks you to evaluate 4 factorial. So that is equal to 4, that is our n, then times n minus 1. So 4 minus 1, we have 3 times 4 minus 2, that is 2 times 1. So that is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that is 12 times 2, 24 times 1, 24. So 4 factorial is equal to 24. Let's say we have 3 factorial. Let us simply start with our n. 3 times 2 times 1. That is equal to 6. If we have 6 factorial, therefore, it is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that is 6 times 5, 30 times 4, 36, 120, 120 times 3, 120 times 3, that is 360 times 2, that is 720. Now let's have another example on how to use the factorial. Now let's have this problem. How many three-digit numbers can be formed by the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 if repetition of digits is not allowed? So we're going to form a three-digit number. So 1, 2, 3. This is our first digit, then the second, then the third. To form our digit, now determine how many numbers are available. So one, two, three, four, five. So five numbers are available in our first digit okay so it can be one two three four or five so there are five possible numbers now if i use one digit as our first digit so repetition is not allowed so there is only four digit available left okay so i use one so 5 minus 1, that is 4. Now, we already use two digits for the first digit and the second digit. For the third digit, so there are three available digits for us, our third digit. Multiplying, so 5 times 4, that is 20, times 3, 60. So there are 60 ways <clears throat> if repetition of digits is not allowed. What if, there is a second question, if repetition of digits is allowed. So repetition of digits is allowed, so that can be 5. So you can repeat the digits, so 5 times 5 times 5. So that is 120. So that is the difference between the two. This is not allowed if repetition is if repetition is allowed in this case. 
positive. Now let's have this problem. How many three-digit odd numbers can be formed using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if repetition is not allowed? So we're going to form a three-digit odd numbers. So 1, 2, 3. This is our ones digit, the tens digit, and the hundreds digit. Okay. Now, now in determine if the number is an odd number, so let's say to determine if the number is an odd number, so let's say we have 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. So the numbers must end by 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So first, we need to feel how many options are possible in our ones digit. So in this case, we have 1, 3, 5. So, 1, 3, 5. These are the possible options. So, we have 3 possible options for our 1's digit. Next, if we already use 1 digit as our 1's digit, so we have here, how many options left? So, there are 5 options left. So, we already use one digit as ones digit and another digit as hundreds digit so we have four options left for the tens digit multiplying that is five times four that is twenty times three which is sixty minutes. again in this lesson you need to use your critical thinking skills Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. Now let's have this problem. How many three digit odd numbers can be formed using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if repetition is not allowed? So we're going to form a three digit odd numbers. So 1, 2, Three. This is our ones digit, the tens digit, and the hundreds digit. Okay. Now, now in determine if the number is an odd number, so. Let's say, to determine if the number is an odd number, so let's say we have 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. So the numbers must end by 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So first, we need to feel how many options are possible in our ones digit so in this case we have one three five so one three five these are the possible options so we have three possible options for our ones digit next if we already use one digit as our ones digit so we have here how many options left? So there are five options left. So we already use one digit as ones digit and another digit as hundreds digit. So we have four options left for the tens digit. Multiplying, that is five times four, that is 20 times three, which is 60 minutes. 
Again, in this lesson, you need to use your critical thinking skills. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.